came up with the idea of the Cheever Cafe? Oh. Well, I actually had uh, presented the idea after hearing about other schools in the community that were also running student-led um, businesses in order to provide work experience. So I just thought it was a wonderful idea and it's something that I really wanted to do and presented it to um, Mr. Rolfs and gained his support and then we went with it. Basically I saw a need for the students that I worked with um, in the area of employability and transferable work skills and I thought it was a great way also to promote inclusivity as well as ability awareness for all students and to um, allow students with disabilities to interact in many capacities with both staff and peers. We planned our business plan, what materials we needed, um, how, where we were going to purchase them, cost analysis, what supplies. Um, I did receive a grant from the Walmart Foundation from their Community Cares Program for $1,000. And so that when those funds were available, which was in September, we really were able to move forward. But our students um, have uniforms, which I was able to purchase with the grant money. And so they wear, they have a checklist when they come into the classroom. So they start by washing their hands, putting on their uniform. And then they also clock in and they earn T-Bird Cafe cash um, for their hours, which they can exchange to buy a snack um, at the end of the week. And then they prepare the orders. We have cured coffee machines, so students are making coffee. We bought a portable ice machine, so students are serving a glass of ice with any of our beverages that we sell. Um, they have decorated sacks for the delivery of our items, and so they stock them. We get everything on the cart and then they go around and they present the orders to um, the staff members. And then today was our first time, we, it's Friday, we bill once a week to the staff. So they also were involved with that money handling process. Um, not really the cash at this time, but they did deliver bills. And then we have the cash register that we also purchased so that they will be receiving training on how to run a cash register. You know, it's been overwhelmingly wonderful. Um, some students have just really shined. They love the opportunity of having responsibility, of actually doing a real, they consider it a real job, and, and they can use it on their resume. And they're actually getting gainful experience that will hopefully lead them to employment once they graduate. I hope our T-Bird Cafe is a long sustained program. Uh, my goal is this year to work out all the kinks and then have it be a program that will run and operate for future years to come. I am planning to introduce some new items and products that will sell to the teachers. For example, um, Monday is Halloween, so the teachers receive an email that they can send a, a boogram to a staff member, and so we'll decorate the holiday theme. Um, we also have obtained a the Oda Spunkmeyer cookie maker. Um, that was donated by a staff member who was no longer using it. So I'm in the process of seeing if we can do fresh baked cookies, as well as incorporating smoothies. I'm working with scooters to get their smoothie mix so we can actually do smoothies. Um, but I need some more funds just because we don't have a lot of uh, extra money at this time. We're just sustainable. So the money we make is really just to resupply our product um, any extra will be for the students to go on community outings to learn about other businesses and job opportunities in the community. I'm just really excited about the opportunity for everyone to see a person's abilities rather than disabilities and that students are capable and that they can bring so much joy uh, through the little things. So, and I appreciate the staff supporting us. Um, hello, welcome back to the West Weekly. I am Jerry Brim. And I am Jacob Laha. But we have early out Friday for a teacher work day thing. Mm -hmm.